Good morning, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Hope your hips feel pretty good after yesterday. Should be nice and loose. As usual, we're going to start in a nice seated position, just for a moment or two. So go ahead and find that cross-legged thing, or if you're sitting on your knees, make the adjustments with the hair and the clothing, get all the fidgeting that needs to be done, to be done with. Allowing the hands to become heavy on the thighs. As you let the eyes close, create a subtle, subtle tuck of the chin. Becoming aware of the back of the neck. And as you start to feel the outer body, find that stillness. Allow the internal body to begin to slow down. Feeling the ears get a little heavier. Throughout the practice, the mind will wander. We're human. And when it does, don't beat yourself up over it. Instead, see it almost like a little game. And come back to the breath. With the eyes still closed, turn every bit of your concentration toward this next breath, this next inhale coming in a little deeper and a little slower than before. As the lips stay closed, the exhale slow, deliberate, feeling a slight pull in toward the heart. Let this one get a little deeper, a little fuller, a little slower. And the exhale matching the length and speed. If you want to count to five in your head, it doesn't have to be seconds. But as you count down from five on the exhale, it allows the brain to stay focused on something. Your five count in. Your five count out. That's all this practice is. It doesn't matter if you balance on your pinkies or levitate off your mat. As long as your breath is just as even as it is. Three more, just like that, sitting here in this beautiful stillness.
Now I only got 514 more of these breaths, but I'll keep count. And so the eyes softly open. I'm moving deliberately. Begin to lean forward and remove any props you may have or things. And as you walk the hands forward, start to uncross the legs if they're crossed. And as you tuck the toes, simply lift the knees off the ground and simply walk your feet right behind your hands. So your feet are as wide as your hands. I'm sure the knees bend a lot so you can bring the fingertips down and as the head dangles, notice what already happened to the breath. Now since we're hanging upside down, shake out the head a little yes. Nod it a little no, and as it moves around, almost like one of those bobble heads. See if you can sway a little side to side, and forward and back. See if the spine can move almost like a chain with a weight on the end. And this whole time, that even breath. Now as you keep that breath, begin to bend the knees so much that the belly and chest can rest on your thighs. Bending the knees so much the belly and chest can rest on the thighs, and then bring your hands behind, either holding the shins or the heels. And as you tuck your chin, Use the inhale and push your belly and chest against your thighs. Keep that connection. As you exhale, lift your hips just a little bit. Now you're welcome to stay like this. But keep the connection between your belly and thighs. And maybe you grab opposite elbows behind your legs. So the heavy head, the inhale, pushing the belly and chest against the thighs. And as you keep that strong connection, begin to lift the hips. Someone asked for legs today, so we're going to get going with these lovely things. A couple more breaths here. Notice where the mind goes. Stay strong, connected, belly, chest, thighs. One more breath here, stay with me. As the head remains heavy, free your arms and touch your toes. And as you keep the chin tucked, use your next inhale to slowly roll up about halfway and hang out for the exhale. Heavy head, the rest of the inhale brings you up, sweeping the arms out. And as you finish the inhale, the palms slowly come together. Take your entire exhale and float the thumbs down in front of the heart. Closing the eyes. Feel the inhale, expanding the torso. The exhale, grounding into the heart. Now as you lift all ten toes, spread them really wide. And as you keep the toes really wide, slowly put the pinky toes down, the next toes down, whatever those are called, the middle toes, the index toe, and then the big toe, grounding into the earth. Strong legs. And so as the palms are still together, begin to bend your knees. Let the eyes slowly open if they're not. And as you start to bend the knees, start to shift the hips back, like you're almost sitting down in a chair. Let the hips drop a little bit more. And when you find that place where the thighs feel like they're parallel, drop the hips a little bit more. Now as you lift all ten toes again, spread them wide. And all at the same time, bring ten toes down. So the arms have something to do, 
push the palms together, like you're pushing through the hand. And as you keep those knees bent, pushing through the hands, start to straighten the arms up by the ears. Active hands, active arms, even breath. A little smile. And then slowly drape yourself back over your thighs, bringing the chin into the collar. And then bending the knees, just hanging out for a sec. Feel the hips lifting and swaying. Keeping the chin tucked. Inhale, roll all the way up this time, finishing the breath as the palms touch. And exhale, the thumbs to the heart. Let's try that one again, huh? That's pretty fun. So start by bending the knees, drawing the hips back a little. And as you sit down just a little more, inhale. This time, sweep the arms out and up. And then as you exhale, like before, drape over your body, hands to the shins. For a moment, the knees stay bent, but roll your spine and neck up so they're horizontal or parallel to the earth. And for a moment, feel the weight come forward a little bit. And yet feel your butt drawing back. One more breath here. And then with the speed of the exhale, drape the chest, chin to collar. We're going to do two of these. Inhale, roll up. Halfway, long spine. Your five count, exhale, rattle. Inhale, long upper body, little smile. And then as you bend the knees, plant the hands flat. So bend the knees as much as you need to so the hands can be flat. And then step into high plank. Now for a moment, those heels are reaching back. The hips drop a little. And the back of the neck, nice and long, just scooch a little side to side. A little forward and back. And then start to lift the hips straight into the air and reach the heels down to the ground and sneak into your first down dog. Let the knees bend a little. Disco the hips a little side to side. As you inhale, lift the hips and the heels up as high as they go. And as you exhale, bend the knees and look forward. Now since you're taking another breath here, go ahead and bend the knees even more, reach the hips further back. One more breath, bend the knees a little bit more. And then on empty, Step or jump on up, bring the feet up between the hands and folding in half. One breath brings you all the way up, palms touch overhead. Your five count exhale brings the thumbs to the heart. Take a breath here. As you finish the exhale, bring the arms down. Inhale the arms up. The whole time diving forward, rolling chin into the collar. Now as you bend the knees, once again, sweep back into that chair. The arms by the ears, hips down, we're not here very long as far as you know. And then roll the forward, fingertips to the ground. Bend the knees, come up halfway. And then step right back into downward dog. Check it in. Now as you look back at those feet, bring the feet together. You're gonna lift the hips and the heels up really high. And then as you exit, you're gonna turn the feet to the right and bend the knees so the knees point off to the right. The head is heavy. Feel that left hip reach back just a little bit more. And then with a heavy head, inhale, lift the hips, straighten the legs. Now you're going to pivot the feet to the left. 
You're going to bend the knees to the left. And you're going to reach that right hip back a little bit more. Let's move a little, huh? Take your five count inhale, straighten the legs, lift the hips. Pivot, exhale, bend the knees, reach both hips back. One breath up. And one breath, bending knees, really reach those hips back. And up. Bending deeper. And straighten. Last side each time. <laughs> you know what I mean. And when you come up from the left side, lift the hips, the heels. Exhale, bend the knees, look way forward, and step or jump on up. As you fold in half, everything feels pretty good. So bend the knees, reach the arms up, chair. Once again, I didn't ask for legs, sit the knees down a little bit more. And as the palms come together, straighten the legs, thumbs to the heart. Take a breath here. As you inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, dive and pull. Bend the knees so much, your fingertips come to the ground. And then lift your right leg straight into the air. Go ahead and look below and look up at your right foot. Lift it up a little higher. And since we're here, reach your right heel to the ceiling. One more breath. And then you're going to step that right foot all the way back and come into a low lunge. So if you want, your knee can be down. It doesn't matter to me. If the knee is down or if it's lifted, begin to open up your heart. As you keep the throat soft, feel the hips drop down and forward a little. And then a little bit of movement. Take the entire exhale to straighten the left leg around the chin. The entire inhale to bend the left knee, drop the hips a little more this time, a little smile. And exhale around. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Now this time as you straighten the left leg, keep it straight. Now with both legs straight, walk your hands back and maybe use a prop here under your right hand. You don't have to, but it helps sometimes. And with both legs straight, bring your left hand to your left hip. Use the inhale to lengthen the spine and the neck. And then as you begin to turn your belly and heart to the left, keep your eyes to the earth. The inhale, lengthening the spine and the neck. The exhale, the belly and heart turns to the left. Now this time, grow long. And then let the eyes turn left as well. Now if both legs are straight and you're breathing, if you feel like it, you can reach your left arm straight into the air. Find that even breath. The beautiful long spine. One more breath here. Gracefully, the left hand returns if it's up. Bend the left knee and bring the right foot down. Right knee down to see if you're listening. You're going to walk the hands back so you can bring the hips up over the knees and walk the hands back enough so you can straighten that left leg. Now I know it feels great to round here, but make sure you can straighten your spine. If you want the hinge, simply bend the elbows. Feel the love here. Now as you bend the left knee, slowly bring it back over the heel. The right hand, once again, comes under the shoulder and bend that elbow. 
your left hand comes to your inner thigh. And at first, you're going to push it forward. And as you keep pushing it forward, come onto the edge of your left foot. Now stay on your hand today, with the right hand, and you're going to turn your heart and belly up to the ceiling, widening your heart. Notice how wide open your heart is. Keep it that way, but then let the heart and the head drop down between the foot and the hand. Feel the inhale. The sound of the exhale. Yeah, I love that one too. Inhale, come on back up. Bring the left foot back to the earth and land your left hand outside the left foot. Now everything feels all good and aligned. So lift the right knee off the ground. All 10 toes pointing forward here. Bring your hands to your left thigh. Let those hips sink a little more. And then as you bring the hands to your hips, Bend your right knee just a little bit and feel your pubic bone turn up toward your nose. Now keep that action in the pubic bone, but slowly straighten the right leg. Notice how that comes out. So once again, bend that right knee just a little bit so you can turn the pubic bone in the nose. Keep that action in the pubic and straighten the right leg. Last time. It's hard, it's a practice. Slowly straighten that left leg. And as you bring the arms out to a T, feel your right foot pivot down onto the ground. So now it's sort of like warrior one feet, but I'm not a big fan of warrior one. So slowly open your heart, turning to the side. So your right foot turned in a little bit so the hips can square. We're all gonna be different here. Use the arms to grow really long and then simply bend the left knee. As you bend the left knee a little bit more, feel the shoulders floating over the hands. Maybe when you bend the left knee a little bit more, bring your right hand behind your right thigh and begin to spiral your left palm toward the back of the room. As you bend the left knee a little bit more, if you have a right kidney, have it come up through your belly. One more breath. And then slowly straighten that left leg. Everything's still cool, so bring your arms to a T. Now, if you feel like your butt's sticking way out or you're out of whack, adjust the feet so the legs can be straight. The arms out. Use the inhale to lengthen the spine. And then you're gonna to start to reach the left arm and body over the left leg. Now we're all different. So wherever your hand lands, land it there. And bring your right hand to your right hip. A subtle tuck of the chin. And then the belly and heart turning to the ceiling. You can keep the hand on the hip, or if you'd like, you can reach the right arm up. Feel that right hip drawing back. Feel the front of your back ribs. Look down at your left foot, and on the inhale, use your right arm to pull you back up. We're gonna transition through warrior two. So that just means on the exhale, you're gonna bend the left knee. There's your warrior two, but then you're gonna bring your forearm to your thigh. Your right hand, once again, to the hip, opening it up. And sit down a little bit more. Now you can keep the forearm there. You can bring it inside the foot. You can bring it outside. We're all different, so it's gonna feel different. And then perhaps reach the right arm first straight into the air. Keep reaching and maybe you turn the palm over your ear and start reaching forward. Now imagine you have a friend right there, socially distanced, but they put your hand on your right hip, let it drop a little bit more. 
And for one final breath, turn your pubic bone to the nose. Good stuff, huh? Watch that right hand come down to the ground. You're going to turn all 10 toes forward, and just like we started, you're going to lift that right leg high into the air. Now, since there's probably a prop close by, put it out in front of your left foot and bring your left hand on it. With both hands still grounded, start to reach your right heel toward the back of the room. When you're feeling it, bring your right hand to your right hip. And just like you did with all those, feel that right hip opening up. Activate that right leg. Once again, Yogi's Choice, if you want, you can reach the right arm straight into the air. Now your right arm and leg are doing so much work, maybe you lift the left fingers off the ground. When you're ready, bring the right hand down to earth and turn those right toes to the ground and get the legs about halfway up. Move the block under the right shoulder. Keep that right heel reaching back as you bring the hand onto the block and your left hand onto your left hip. So this is where we put everything together. The inhale, lengthening the spine and the neck. The exhale, belly and heart to the left. If the right leg's still active and you want to reach that left arm up, go to town. Five count inhale. Five count exhale. As the left hand slowly returns to the earth, bring the right foot down and meet the left. One breath brings you all the way up, palms touch overhead, and then slowly the thumbs to the heart. Closing the eyes, and for a moment just even let go of the breath, the muscles, and feel. Recognizing the difference between the left and right leg. Let's balance things out. It begins with the breath. Evenly in. Evenly out. As the eyes open up, start by pushing the hands together. The corners of the mouth lift as you begin to bend the knees. Yup, this one again. Bending the knees so much, the thighs become parallel to the earth. We're not here very long. But as you keep pushing the hands together, sweep the arms up by the ears. And then slowly drape the chest and belly forward, tucking the chin. With one breath, come up halfway and long neck. And exhale, great full. Fingertips at least on the ground, bend the knees enough so you can lift the left leg straight into the air. Feeling the inner left heel reach a little higher. Notice how this feels as you step the left foot as far back as you can go and come into this lodge. Now once again, if you want props, grab them, it's totally cool. No one can see you, no one cares. As the legs stay active, feel the hips reach forward. Begin to smile your collarbones. And a little bit of movement. The exhale, straighten the right leg, rolling the chin into the collar. Inhale, bend the knee, opening the heart. And exhale, straighten. Two more of these, your breath. And 
And when you're done, both legs straight. Now, once again, maybe you didn't use a prop before, but bring it under your left shoulder and bring your hand on it. With both legs straight, bring the right hand to the right hip. And feel the spine and neck like a laser. Keep the eyes down. The inhale lengthens. And just the belly and the heart turn to the right. You'll see over there in a moment, don't worry. For now, feel the inhale lengthening the spine and the neck. And the belly and heart turning to the right. This way you've been waiting for. On your exhale, bring the eyes to the right. Maybe reach that right arm straight up. Five count inhale. Five count exhale. With the speed of your breath, the right hand comes back down. Slowly bend the right knee and bring the left knee down to the earth. Oh, thank goodness. This is where you walk your hands back and try to have that left thigh bone be straight up and down. It doesn't have to be. But as you walk the hands back a little further, maybe turn the big right toe toward your right ear. Maybe bring the forearms to the ground. You know I love me some backs of the legs. Take another breath here. And then slowly bend the right knee, bringing the foot flat. The left hand comes onto the ground and the right hand to your thigh. Now push that knee forward. Energetically, it's still going forward, right? So then come onto the sharp edge of your right foot. As you inhale, like you did before, but better, turn your belly and heart up toward the sky. Filling up. And keep the heart wide. But begin to drop the heart and the head toward between the foot and the hand. Five count inhale. Five count, exhale. A little shaking, just a reminder that you're alive. Slowly come back up. Return the foot to the earth and bring your right hand outside the right foot. So like before, but better, lift the left knee off the ground and engage those legs. When they're ready, bring the hands up to the right thigh. And feel the hips drop a little bit more. Now, speaking of hips, bring your hands to them. And with that right knee bent, bend the left knee just enough so you can feel that pubic bone turn to the nose. Keep that action as you do your best to straighten the left leg. And we'll pop out if it happens. So once again, bending the left knee, pubic to nose, with the right knee bent, straight to the left leg. One more time. Beautiful. When you're ready, straighten the right leg, and slowly bring the left foot, pivot it down to the ground. And you can look at your left foot, make sure it's flat. And then when you start to turn your hips to the side, reach the arms out. I'm going to turn to face you guys, so you're not looking at my butt. This time you're going to reach your right arm. The torso stays in line with the thigh, and bring your right hand down where it lands. Maybe it's the ground, maybe it's not, it doesn't matter. Put your left hand on the hip. With a long spine and neck. Turn the belly and heart toward the sky. A subtle tuck of the chin. Yogi's choice, you can reach that left arm up as well. But both legs equally strong.
looking down at your right foot. Your inhale and left arm, pull you back up. This is where we transition. Bend the right knee. Bend in the right knee a little bit more. Bring the left hand behind you and slowly sweep the right arm up. Letting the knee bend a little more and listening to your breath. Having a little thought. Transitioning through warrior two, the arms out wide. Legs don't move as you bring the right hand, right forearm to the thigh. And at first reach that left arm just straight up. Feels if you're leaning against a wall. If you want to reach the left fingers forward, you can. If you want to bring your hand to the earth, you can. But feel the pubic turn to the nose. And without moving your head, change where your eyes are looking. Don't worry, we're not going to do the crazy eye thing from the other day. Nice. Watch that left hand come down. You're going to turn all ten fo toes forward. And when you're ready, bend the right knee. And lift the left leg up. First really high. And then you're going to start to reach it behind you. Reach with the heel and make sure your prop is under your right shoulder. And maybe that's where you're at today. But with the left leg active, maybe you bring the left hand to the left hip. So really, leg is wicked strong. And maybe if you're feeling it, you can even reach the left arm. Five count in hand. Five count exhale, maybe the right fingers lift off the earth. One more breath here. With the speed of the exhale, bring the left hand back down. You can bend the right knee as much as you need to, but straighten that left leg right behind you, all five toes to the earth. Let the spine and neck get horizontal, and maybe you've got a block under your left shoulder. The right arm hand comes to the right hip. And like you've been doing, inhale, lengthen the spine and the neck. The exhale, the belly and heart to the right. If you're feeling it, maybe the right arm lifts up. No prizes, just your breath. When you're ready, the right hand returns. The left foot comes down and eat the right. And with one breath, roll all the way up. Palms touch overhead. And exhale the thumbs to the heart. Close the eyes. Soften the body. Feel the post effect. Turning on that breath, keeping the eyes closed. From the roof of the mouth, grow a little taller. And with the eyes closed, begin to lift the right knee into the air. Now really, keep the eyes closed. The face bored looking. and the breath even. Now we're going to keep the eyes closed. And with the speed of the exhale, bring your right foot down or straighten the leg. There's still nothing to see. And so with that even breath, a little smile like you know a secret, 
Begin to lift the left knee into the air. Five count in half. Five count exhale. It's called a practice. Peacefully bring the left foot down. Let the eyes open. With one breath, sweep the arms up. With the next, diving forward. Hands to the shins, inhale halfway up. And then as you plant the hands, step the right foot back. And slowly walk the hands to the right side. Turning all ten toes first to the sides of the mat. But then things are going to get fun, of course. You're going to turn your left foot out just enough so that when you bend the left knee, it pretty much tracks over the toes or it feels good for you. And yet when you inhale, you're going to straighten the left leg and look at your right foot and adjust it so you can turn it out and bend the knee over that foot. They're going to feel different. They're different sides. Inhale, up through center. Slow exhale, bend to the left knee. Inhale up. Exhale to the right. Drop those hips, I know it's nasty. Up. And down, now the hands can stay on the ground. You can start to bring them in front of the heart. Now the next time you straighten from the right leg, turn the toes in and bend the knees. Now with the knees bent, bring the hands to the hips and then inhale, come all the way up. Sweep the arms into the sky and exhale, bring the thumbs to the heart. Find your torso, expand. When you're feeling it, inhale, sweep the arms up. This time, bring the left arm forward and the right arm over. Crisscross the arms. As you twizzle, stick up the forearms, bring the elbows up in line with the shoulders. Now everything feels good. So now turn the heels in and start to sit down. Elbows in line with the shoulders, thighs parallel. One more breath, sit down a little bit more. And then slowly straighten the legs. Oh. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And then you're going to bring the arms back down this time. Other arm on top, left arm on top. Twizzle, stick up those forearms. Didn't think we were getting arm stuff in today, did you? Bring the elbows up in line with the shoulders. And then like you're leaning against a wall, slowly bend the knees, dropping the hips. So the thighs become parallel. Feel the pubic turn to the nose. Maybe lift all ten toes. And as you keep the knees bent, release the arms, slowly roll forward till the fingers touch the earth. Strain the legs. And then heel toe your feet in enough so the heels are still inside, the toes turn out, and slowly bend the knees, dropping the hips, coming into this low squat. Now the hands can stay on the ground. 
You can bring the palms together and use the elbows to open up those knees a little bit more. Feel the roof of the mouth lifting. Two more breaths here. When you're ready, if they're not, bring the hands down to the ground. Slowly straighten the legs, and then allow the feet to become parallel. And as you bend your knees, let the belly and chest land on your thighs. As the head gets heavy, Maybe you grab the backs of the heels, just showing it. Maybe you grab the elbows. But we've been here before. Feel the inhale, pushing the belly and chest against the thighs. The exhale, keep that connection and lift the hips. Three more breaths here. Keeping the head heavy, bring the hands back down to the ground. Walk your hands over to the left, turn all ten toes forward, and as slowly as you can, come on down to your knees. Sweat towel, awesome if you got one. Coming on to tabletop. Notice your hips right over the knees. With the toes tucked, Start to walk your hands over the right. So you're still shoulders over the hands, but you're creating a nice long curve down the left side of your body. Keep the hips over the knees, but now begin to walk your hands forward. Slowly letting the head come down. Couldn't have a class without the obliques. Both hips are reaching equally toward the back. The heart getting a little heavier. Last breath, use both lungs. And simply start to walk the hands back under your shoulders. Once they're there, you're going to start to walk the hands over to the left side. Make sure to move any props or anything that may be in the way. And walk your hands as far left so they're still under your shoulders like you're going to do push-ups. And with hips over the knees, now begin to walk the hands full. More of like a diagonal. But feel the inhale expanding the lungs. The exhale, that right hip drawing back. Feel the left lung fully expand. The right side, right hip draws back. At first, simply walk the hands in the same way they came back in under the shoulders. And then as you walk the hands back onto your mat, once again, tabletop. Everything feels good. So keeping the hips still over the knees, begin to walk the hands forward, letting the forehead come down to the ground. Now if your chin comes to the ground, great. Or just keep your head on the ground. Energetically, both hips are drawing back. And yet with each exhale, the heart and belly get a little heavier. Two more breaths. If your chin is on the ground, return the forehead. Start to walk the hands back under the shoulders. 
And as you push into the hands, round the spine up to the ceiling, as if it's coming through the back of your skin like some sci-fi movie. And then with one inhale, drop the belly, open the heart, really arching through the entire spine. And we're gonna take one more. Exhale, rounding the spine to the stars. The inhale, dropping the belly to Mother Earth. As you find that neutral spine, begin to walk the knees up behind the wrists. And once again, any way you want to get there, you can cross the ankles, sit back and bring the legs out. You can roll the one hip to the other and sweep the legs out in front. But you're going to slowly bring the soles of the feet together. Now it's a little different for everyone. And you'll know it's right because the feet are together, you're going to bring the hands behind you and start to lean back. Now you may want to scoot your hips forward a little bit as you come to your forearms. Now everything feels pretty good. So slowly begin to spread the spine from the back of the neck down onto the ground. Let your left hand come onto your heart. Your right hand onto the belly. First, tune into the breath. You can feel the five count inhale in both the left and right hand. The five count exhale, feel the hands dropping. Now stay with that even breath. And with the feet still together, start to lift the knees up a little bit, real subtle. And you're going to lift them up maybe like two or three inches, maybe four, until you start to feel the muscles engage. Now keep that, the legs just as they are, and yet see if you can soften the muscles. You'll get a little shaky if you're doing it. So once again, if that's totally foreign to you, start as deep as you're going to start, but then lift the knees up just enough until you feel those groin muscles starting to engage. When you feel engaged, hang out there and yet soften the muscles. We're all gonna be different. So when you completely let those muscles go, it almost starts to flap your, your butterfly wings. One more breath. Slide your hands to your outer thighs. As you bring the feet to the ground, gently draw the knees and thighs together. And when you have the thighs and knees leaning together, you'll toe your feet out enough so you can turn the toes in and let the legs just fall together like you're building a house of cards. Noticing how flat your back is on the ground. Go ahead and bring that right kneecap into the right palm. The left kneecap into the left palm. And as slow as a Barry White song, begin to make big opposite spinning circles with your knees. Now, they're not going to be perfect circles. Don't worry about that. But then go ahead and go in the other direction as well. Big, sweeping, slow circles. When it feels about balanced out, bring the knees together now and simply take two or three circles in one direction as a single unit. Still that even count breath, and then a few circles in the other direction. When it's time, start to bring the legs to the ground. And as you bring the arms down to the side, I like to have my palms face up. 
but you're going to widen the heels a little more than your hips. You move the arms so a little air can get into the underarms. And as you make any last minute adjustments or fidgets, no one can hear you. So begin to take in that last breath, sipping it in, expanding in all directions, even into the earth. At the very top, hold the breath. Sip in a little bit more. And then when you're ready, you're opening the mouth and letting it all go. Allow the jaw to soften. The tongue and the ears. Feeling the legs letting go of that last little bit. in this luxurious place of stillness. Notice the sounds around you. Notice where the clothes are touching the skin. where the skin is touching the air. And where the body and head are supported by the earth. As always, you're invited to stay like this for the rest of the day. Or from far away, begin to feel your gentle breath beginning to return. And like spring creeping in, feel the breath get a little brighter Letting the fingers and toes move a little. And moving in that dreamlike state, you're going to reach the arms toward the back. Reaching the feet far forward as if you have two friends pulling you apart. And exhale, just dropping it back into the earth. Gently bringing the knees into your chest and giving yourself a loving and well-deserved hug.
rocking a little side to side. And then picking one side or the other as you melt onto it. Soaking in this feeling, this practice that you created. Quietly finding your way into a seated position. Whichever works for you, so your spine can be nice and tall. Reuniting the palms in front of the heart. And with a subtle tuck of the chin, taking three more even breaths together. Exhaling completely. light and energy deep inside of me bows and respects the light and energy in each of you. Thank you so much for practicing today.